So let's start to continue on and this is part 7 of how to create a gauge chart with a needle in chart.js. So far we have this needle here with the percentage but what I want to do and this is the final item here probably unless there's more demand just let me know in the comments if you want something specific but what I will do here is like put a value here and a value there where we indicate that this is good, bad or anything else in between here. So what I will do just here is like negative, positive very simple so to do this I'm going to scroll down here we have these labels here and I will just do it in the uh, gauge flow meter or if we don't want that let's make another plugin I'll just make just multiple plugins and you can always combine whatever you want so I'm going to say here gauge uh, labels of course it's not necessary but it's just maybe a bit more neat from my end so you can just select which plugin you would like to use very simple and then I'll just make this here slash slash gauge needle plugin block ID will be gauge labels. Then um, after data sets draw, in that case I'll say a chart, art, and plugins. Then what I want to do here is the following. Um, let's see here what I would like to do is the object destructuring although I don't think I need much of the object destructuring here just only the CTX why CTX because CTX allows us to draw in the canvas so now what I want to do is I'm just going to grab everything that they have here but I will not use any more the um, what we have here the X center and the Y center we don't need these and I realized that we do need something else so what I'm going to do here, comma, I'm going to see a chart area. And then, oh, we might need the uh, position of this. So I realized that we need probably probably the Y center to figure out what is the position here. So don't worry about it. I'm going to work on that later on. I'm going to say here, um, chart area. And then let's say here, left and right. What is that exactly? Well, one is the left side here of the chart area, and another one is the right side here. So we have those two parts that we need. So what I'm going to do here is the following. Uh, let's get the X center. Grab this, put it down here. Then what I will say here is, well, what is the text? So let's make this text here, and we'll say danger. Very straightforward. And we're going to hit an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So how do we know what we need? Well, we know that this here is the, uh, what did I do here? I pressed a button, sorry. Uh, we know that that is the left side. So I'm going to put in here the left side. And then what I can do here uh, is the, I said we needed the Y center for vertical level. So I just need to make sure we get the Y center, not the X center my bad so if I save this right now refresh you can see here it starts to work but it is now aligned center I don't want that I want it aligned left so let me just put it in here specifically because later on we need another one aligned right so if you have a danger what I do want to do here is I want to reduce this maybe to 15 pixels and I want this maybe in the black value so we have this let's put this more to the side here uh danger and then we're going to say your left what we want to do is we want to push it a bit more lower and how many pixels if we want to align these all together i guess we can say 50 pixels you say you plus another 50 pixels mm, i don't really like it i would say put it more closer to that um how many pixels is this 15 so let's say we do 20 that will be decent and then if you look very carefully i guess here this is uh, we can just push it push it a little bit more to the right side so let's say here 10 pixels there we are uh, i think that's quite decent we could put it in the center as well to do that if you want to do that we have to calculate that i'll just do it later on what i do want or what i want to do next is to put in the next label one is a danger and the other one is not danger but success or something like that this of course will be the right side and then if I save this refresh you don't see it right now because the align the text alignment 
is on the wrong position. There we are, success. And then we can say here instead of plus, we can do here a negative item. There we are. What I, I realized maybe what makes more sense to figure out was the exact center here. And we just put it in the center and then center it same here. I think that makes more sense. To do this, it will require just a bit more logic. Uh, we need to go up here. We need to work again with the inner and outer radius and then with the width lines. So I'm going to copy all of this. So all of this I already explained in the previous video so I will not uh, go too deep in it. I'll just explain you the logic that we're doing here. So we have here the outer radius. So what I need to know here now is uh, oh, this is the flow meter. I'm not allowed to do it in the flow meter. It should be in the gauge label. The gauge label is here. Put this in here. So I'm going to save this, refresh, all right. Should we translate it to make it simple? To simplify it for yourself, I'm going to say translate in this case. And I guess if we do that translate, I'll just make everything simplified for ourselves. This is the Y, just do the X as well. My bad that we are making it a bit more complicated or a bit more extensive, but just it's easier. You should understand translate now. I only explained those. So what I want to do here is I want to say, all right, we are here, but then what I want to do is we have the, have the outer radius. So I'm going here, outer radius. So what I'm going to say here, this minus outer radius, and then we need to have the width slice. And then here, I'm going to say, zero um yeah that's the zero and let's put this on zero as well and then here i'm going to say not outer radius or not my negative outer radius but plus by doing that i guess we can remove the chart area item all right it works but of course it gives the weird response because i need to do here a ctx restore to undo afterwards save that refresh there we are. So now it looks quite decent, but it just starts at the outer radius. I don't want that. I want it to be in the center. So we have the outer radius. Then we have here this. So what I can do here on the outer radius, or maybe make it easier, just say inner radius. Inner radius. I have to do a plus here or maybe a minus. So I have to see. I think that this one will be negative, but this one will be a plus. Uh, all right, so that looks quite nice. Now what I want to do is text alignment, and I guess this becomes easier now. And I see we have these duplicated. Let's clear, clear this up. All of this here is just the same. If I save that, you can see here, nothing really changes except for the alignment of the text. Put this on back on center, save. There we are. So it's now exactly in the center of the slice, but let's push it down um, 15 pixels or 20 pixels. So what I'm going to say here uh, on this plus 20 pixels. Here plus 20 pixels. Say refresh. I think this looks quite nice. We are now complete and it has it all working. If I refresh, beautiful.